So guys, I got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is when I went to take the van in to get inspected by a mechanic, they gave me $3,000 worth of repairs that they said I should do before we leave on our trip. That's not gonna happen. So the good news is Uncle Mark is going to teach me how to be a man and fix it myself. So let's go. So when we decided to buy this old 92 Dodge, I had no idea that I had just signed up to learn how to become a mechanic, an electrician, and a carpenter. Just being very gentle because I don't want to cross thread it into the brass. Why do they use brass? Good question. We're running into a bit of a hiccup. Can you see where it goes into that thing? I can't see where it goes in, but I can see where the thing is. We're lubricating the brake nipples. Grease nipples. The grease nipple. <laughs> Alright folks, so we changed the brake lines, we flushed the tranny fluid, we fixed this door, and we lubed the grease nipples, well at least that's what Uncle Mark calls them, I don't know if that's what they're really called, I hope it is. So now we fixed all the mechanical things on the van, but we're not done yet. Now we have to figure out the electrical system and I had to fix my driver's seat. So that's the next project. Let's go. We don't really need these seats and they take up tons of space, but we also don't want to change things in the van, so that we can't can't be easily reversible in case we want to sell it in a few months or I don't know how long. So we're trying to figure out what to do with this space. These things, I think, I'm not sure, but I think you can just unscrew and have the whole box come up so then this whole space would be open. And then some different options, I don't know which would be best. Hey yo! I might have just made our lives a lot easier. I just took the table from the back table that is used for one of the support boards for the bed and tried to fit it up here in the front. And you look at that! Pretty nice! I had to bend this leg out a tiny bit so I think it's okay. Taking out the seat. This seat is a piece of crap. Kevin says this will take me at least 10 hours to do, but I'm going to prove Kevin. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So after about 20 minutes of awkward chair screwing, awkward removing screws from chairs, I finally was able to get this bad boy off. Now all that's left is to remove these tiny clips and take all of this material and we're gonna fix this right here because that's gonna be real uncomfortable to sit on for long periods of time. So I'm gonna have to go to the store, get some foam, and hopefully finish this project today because it's almost time to leave. These things are an epic pain in the nuts to take out. 
This is gonna take me forever. I got about four done, about 20 to go. There is absolutely zero chance I'm putting those back on. We're gonna do zip ties. I'm just gonna say it up front. You're welcome. I may be a bit out of my wheelhouse, guys. This is chair is falling apart. So tomorrow I'm going to head to the junkyard to see if I can find another chair because I don't know if I can fix this. Then maybe an upholstery place to see if they can help me. And as a last resort, I'm just gonna buy some foam and cram it in there. Maybe throw on some duct tape and hope for the best. So guys, it turns out I found a really easy solution to this whole seat problem. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Check this out. You don't call me Mitch MacGyver for nothing. Let's go. Happy Junkyard Wednesday, everybody. Today I'm gonna hunt through this junkyard and try to find a seat because I don't think I can fix that seat. I think it's just gonna fall apart. So, fingers crossed, I find something. I have my handy dandy tools and it should be fun. None of these match what I need. Not even close. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So after looking at about 500 cars, this is the only one that looks like it might just work. I'm just gonna get it and hope for the best. Careful with your hand, man. Madre mia! Son of a... You want me to help you? All right, moment of truth. Let's see. Look at that. So guys, what do you think? You think it'll fit? Oh, Diane's pulling out the tape measure. Okay. You know how to use that thing? I'm gonna need to wash my head after this because I don't know how many butts have been in the seat. What you got there? Many things. Presents for the van. Da, na, na. These are for the windows. Cut to size. This is Diane's project. Mm -hmm. She's gonna cover them with black material so we can put it in the windows and it gives privacy and insulation. Um, this is Diane's calculations. Nobody's ever gonna know what that means. How's it going in here? Cleaning out all the filth. Okay. You like my new glasses? <laughs> so weird. 
All right, my peeps. So I had to cut out the video of me installing this chair because I said too many swear words. It didn't go according to plan, but we finally got her in. Got a nice seat cover on here. The other one is a seat cover. You can see they're different colors, but it's gonna have to do for now. And you know what? I think we're almost ready to go. We fixed all the mechanical issues. We figured out the batteries and the electrical system. We cleaned everything up. We fixed the doors. We fixed the chairs. Diane decorated the crap out of this place. We installed a cell booster so that we can get internet from anywhere. Now all that's left is to load her up with all our stuff and hit the road. If you guys have any questions on how to choose a van or how to fix a van or how to set up electrical systems or any of that, just leave me a comment below. Uh, my brain is exploding with the amount of knowledge that I learned over the past two weeks trying to get this van ready. And I just want to give a shout out to Uncle Mark and to Kevin for all the help that they gave me. We did this in two weeks and if I would have had to do this by myself, this probably would have taken two years. So thank you guys, I appreciate it, I appreciate you. Now if you want to see that tour, make sure to subscribe to our channel, it's going to be sweet. Hit the notification bell and you'll get a notification as soon as we publish it. So thank you for watching, we'll see you on the road. Neighbor noises. Lam 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 wait lam 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 l